Institute has uh, been very supportive of uh, kids, junior high school, high school, colleges, universities around the world. I think it's very important that we have uh, an institution where a lot of young people who have great talent can find their way in the music world. I think it's really important to help showcase young talent, you know, because now it's, it's more difficult for young musicians to, to have an outlet to be able to display their wares, if you will. So this is another opportunity to be able to, to do that. And I don't really look at it, per se, from a competition perspective, but I look at it as an opportunity to, to share your talent with others. Madeleine Albright has been an, a, an incredible friend to the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz since she was Secretary of State. She was a jazz aficionado before that. She likes the drums a little bit. For us to honor someone like Madeleine Albright, I think is absolutely appropriate, and I'm really looking forward to it. From musicians and vocalists to educators, producers, managers, podcasters, radio hosts, and jazz club owners, women are essential ingredients in the success and perpetuation of America's most treasured art form. Women have shaped, continued to mold, and enriched the music and its progeny. While they have been limited in number, women have always contributed artistic and technical achievements equal and to and, and often outshining their male counterparts. the uh, first high-speed communicative tool. People don't know that. Before the telegraph, before the telephone, you had the drum. It moved at the speed of sound. In fact, it scared colonialists to death, and that's why they took the drum away from the original African slaves, because it was such a great communicative tool. It's the most ancient of all our instruments. It's the one that, aside from the human voice, someone heard a heartbeat. Someone went to a log to imitate that heartbeat. You know, so to me, the drums are the most human instrument other than the human voice.
drums to me are life. It's, it's uh, you know, a, a great mentor of mine uh, by the name of Ed Thigpen once told me that the drums are the heartbeat of the music. And when your heart stops, what happens? It's over. So it's, uh, it's life, you know, drums are life. Drums to me, I don't know, the drums is, uh, drums is my life. So uh, if I don't know the drums, I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm not playing drums, I don't know what else I would have been doing. Probably having to start all over again, I'd probably wind up the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I'm now living in New Orleans, Louisiana. I started playing the drums at about four years old. All I remember is music, drums, keyboards, pianos, everything. Everything, my memory, my entire childhood memory is music. It's great to see this focus um, within, uh, within a, a college or university that that prepares a way for musicians to learn on a deeper level and that, that real experience too that allows them to play constantly, listen constantly. It's a, it's a great resource. It's like a family, the Monk Institute. We're like a, we're like a big family and everyone comes back home every year. <laughs> Drums to me are love.